Have you seen those TikTok videos that have been floating around and obviously on Instagram Reels and on YouTube Shorts as well? But it's these people that go around and they just do random acts of kindness or they're just walking up and giving money to strangers. Like I just saw one the other day, they're like, here's a dollar. Do you wanna take this dollar or do you wanna double it or give it to the next person? And typically they say double it and it keeps on going. And then it's like, here, $5,000. Do you want it or do you want me to double it and give it to somebody else? And finally somebody's gonna be like, oh, I've had an awful week. I just lost my job. There's an eviction notice on my front door. I'll take the cash. And it's just pretty cool. Just watching human decency, people taking care of one another. I absolutely love it. And based on the likes and the comments, it seems like everybody else likes it too. And I think there's two takeaways that may seem obvious, but it definitely bears repeating. Number one, kindness is infectious, plain and simple. And number two, people love witnessing positivity. It's fun because when we see kindness taking place, not only does it put a smile on our face and warm our hearts, but it almost inspires us to reciprocate that same thing. There's this thing called the reciprocity effect. And really it's the idea if somebody does something nice for you, your likelihood of doing something nice back for them dramatically increases. Kindness is infectious. Think about those like romantic comedy movies that you never want to admit that you like, or maybe you don't even like it, but there's scenes within some of these like more heartfelt types of movies, the things that stir your emotions a little bit more. There's moments, there's scenes where something just really sweet and endearing and loving and caring is happening in the scene. And it almost brings you to tears, even if you're not the type of person that likes that stuff. Fact is, we love witnessing the positivity. And there's this motto that I've adopted, people over everything, or prioritize people, or put people first. It's something around focusing on people, really. That's what it comes down to, because that's one of my core values as an individual, and something that I wanna bring into any business that I'm a part of. And you may be thinking, that's nice, Evan, but in the world of business, people can't be prioritized above the business or it's simply gonna fail. And I would say that is just completely wrong. And actually, here's the truth. You don't have a business without people. You don't have customers without people. You don't have profit without a business that prioritizes people. You see, people drive it all. You need to write that down and lock it in. People drive everything. And you may be thinking, Evan, there's plenty of businesses out there that are not so people-centric. They don't really take care of people, whether it's the employees, they could do a way better job supporting their employees, or even the customers themselves. They're just kind of profit-hungry and they don't care about people. And yes, you're right. Unfortunately, there are many businesses out there that are technically doing well because there's profit. And the numbers don't lie but there's this sense of just reputation that comes along with it. And I think because those businesses are thriving and existing, even more reason for people like you and I to continue to break the mold and create this new common occurrence of people-focused, people-driven businesses. It's important, like we said, it's magnetic, it's infectious. It shows your heart as a human through the lens or the vehicle of the business that you run. People drive it all. Now, if you're thinking I sound more like a good Samaritan than I do a business owner, you need to also recognize that putting people first doesn't mean you should work at such a high level of benevolence that your business is no longer profitable. By all means, do not do that. Just like an oxygen mask instructions, like on a plane, before you even leave the runway, they give you all these safety instructions, this whole spiel. And when they talk about the oxygen mask that might fall down from the ceiling in an emergency type of event, you're supposed to put the mask on yourself before you help others. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. If you can't breathe, good luck with helping other people because you're not gonna last long enough to actually help in a meaningful way. And if your business, which I assume it does, provides something that's valuable to people, then you better take care of this business or it's going to fold. It's gonna crack under the pressure and a lot of people will be left in a less than ideal situation. If you have employees or contractors, a team that you work with, they're not gonna have work if you can't bring in profit and justify the 
future existence of the business. And obviously, if you have something for your ideal customers out there and it's really solving problems for them and it's really making their life better, then they're not gonna feel very good if you go under. You gotta keep that business up and running. So yes, you need to prioritize not only people, but also the profits within your business. It needs to be sustainable. Can you imagine if Apple or Amazon went under due to negligence, like bad management somewhere in the business? It would hurt a ton of employees and customers also because they bring so much value to so many people. So what does that mean to put people first in your business? I think putting people first requires us to look internally and externally. It's about looking at people's experiences, their upbringing, their beliefs, their support system or lack thereof, their dreams, interests, desires, pain points, fears, scars, anxieties, all of those bullet points. These are all elements of our life, of our individual existence that has shaped and molded who we are, why we think what we think, why we believe what we believe or detest what we detest, the things that we push off and completely disagree with. In order for us to be able to put people first, we need to reframe our internal dialogue, the thoughts in our head. That's where it all starts, right? It starts with an idea, it starts in our brain, it starts in our heart. We need to reframe that internal dialogue to consider someone's experiences, upbringing, beliefs, support system, pain points, fears, scars, anxiety, all of that. We need to basically place ourselves in their shoes is a, a saying that we've all heard plenty of times. That's what we need to be doing internally as we're thinking about what we can do in our business to prioritize people. And then the second part of that is now repositioning your outward approach based on someone's experiences, upbringings, beliefs, support system, yada, 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 yada. This must be continually recalibrated from one person to the next, over and over. You never lock this in and have it perfect because people, more so than anything else, it's the example of life, it ebbs and flows. It goes up and down and left and right. And one day it's like this and the next day it's like that. And things change. Seasons change. People change. Our business needs to continually recalibrate from one person to the next and understand that customer A from last year is not the same customer A as they are this year because they've now lived a year's worth of life and have more experiences to draw from. They might, they're a little bit older now. Maybe their passions or interests have changed a little bit. So to discover how to put people first in your business, we need to ask the question of what's the best thing that I can do for them? What can I do for you? Putting people first in your marketing is found in the act of asking the question, what's the best way to present myself, my business, in order to best serve current and future customers. It's now about the presentation. It's about the delivery. It's about how people perceive your business to operate, the morals and the ethics and the values that you run with. There's nothing to market with no business and there's no business without customers. And there are no customers without people first wanting to buy. And there's nobody wanting to buy without people focused marketing and people driven business. It's a complete circle. Prioritize people.